Bonjour, um, je suis votre professeur de français pour le cours de Français 101 à ASU. Uh, on est maintenant dans la semaine numéro 2 de notre cours. Alors, je, veux, uh, je vais vous enseigner des petites uh, um, choses pour la prononciation um, et aussi um, des petites choses de vocabulaire que je, que je seulement veux que vous uh, écoutez une autre fois. Alors, so, Now in English, uh, I know it's French 101, so this is our second week, uh, and I'm going to show you some things for grammar and vocabulary that I just want to reinforce in case you miss them or, or in our book. Okay, so, la première chose, first thing, le mm. verbe je suis, so I introduced the verb je suis um, the first week. Alors, je suis étudiant. Je suis étudiante, ok? So, in French, we have masculine and feminine for nouns and adjectives. So, if I am a woman, I would just say, je suis étudiante, and I put the E right there. Sorry if you guys cannot see it. So, I put the E in pink. Uh, je suis étudiante. Uh, if I am a male, I would just say, je suis étudiant. Ok? So, pronunciation changes a little bit. So you saw this in your book, the E is in a parenthesis. So just make sure um, to understand, if you're a female, most of the times to adjectives you will add uh, extra E, but sometimes pronunciation stays the same, okay? So, um, so I'll explain that a little bit later, and it can be the same as well for nouns. So the first one, je suis étudiant, that's masculine, we do not pronounce that last T. Je suis étudiant. For feminine, we pronounce the T because we add the E. Je suis étudiante. Okay, so I'll put it up again. So we have here, je suis étudiant, masculine. The same thing, je suis américain. Je suis américain, masculin. Uh, if, it's, if you're a girl, you would say, je suis étudiante. So you pronounce the T because then the E is the last vowel. Okay? Je suis américain, masculine. Je suis américaine, feminine. Okay, so it changes a little bit. Um, then if you have a noun, okay, so for example, a friend, a, a, a male friend, sorry, a male friend and a female friend. Alors, un ami, une amie, okay, so the pronunciation will change a little bit. Un ami, une amie, okay. The pronunciation does not change in the noun, as you see, even though I add the E. It will change in the article that you're using. So, un, une, okay? And then the other one, uh, this is another noun that actually, not even the spelling will change here. So the spelling is the same for the noun, but the um, article will change the pronunciation. So, un colocataire, so un colocataire, une colocataire. Une colocataire, so, un, une, un, une, okay? Un ami, une amie. So, you can repeat after me. I'm going to repeat everything again. Uh, I'm going to do masculine, feminine, masculine, feminine for every, for every little thing, okay? So, je suis étudiant, masculine, not feminine. Je suis étudiante. Je suis américain. Je suis américaine, un ami, une amie, un colocataire, une colocataire. Okay? So, I hope that, you know, uh, helped you a little bit, uh, along with all the notes that you should have been taking from your book. I hope so. Uh, another thing um, that is in your book is negation. So, Hopefully, you know, you saw it and you wrote the notes on the side, but if you don't, I have it here for you guys as well. Ok, alors, la négation en français, ok? Deux parties de négation. So, if you say, I am not American, so you only have not. In French, we have ne pas, so two parts of uh, negation, ok? Alors, ici, uh, je suis américain, so I am American. Je suis américain. Je ne suis pas canadien. So, I am American. I am not Canadian. 
and you can see negation here is two parts. So you have ne and the pas. So je ne suis pas américain. Pardon, je ne suis pas canadien. Um, so it's pretty self-explanatory. This, the ne and the pas, go around the verb. So you already know the verb être. I hope so. I hope you already studied it. Uh, je ne suis pas canadien. So they will go around the verb. I have another example for you guys here. So uh, in here we're saying je parle anglais. Okay, so I speak English. Je ne parle pas espagnol. I do not speak Spanish. Okay, so this is the verb parler, to talk. Um, it's also in your, in your book. Je ne parle pas espagnol. Alors, c'est le verbe parler and uh, the ne and the pas are kind of hugging it. So that's what I uh, kind of do. Like, they're hugging the verb. So they're around the verb. The ne and the pas. You need to have both of them, okay, if it's written. Um, and then, uh, on a final note, I'm going to pronounce the verbs that you need to know for this week, which are already on your blackboard. Uh, ce sont les verbes aller et les verbes faire. Alors, uh, I'll, pronounce, I'll pronounce them for you really quickly. And then, um, if you have any questions, you know, email me. Okay, so, le verbe aller, so the verb to go. Alors, je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. So, I'm going to repeat this verb again. Une autre fois, je veux le répéter. Okay? Vous pouvez répéter après moi. You can repeat after me. Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. Okay? Très bien. Répétez si vous voulez. Uh, maintenant, le verbe faire, so now the verb to do. Je fais, tu fais, il fait, elle fait, nous faisons, vous faites, ils font, elles font. Je vais les répéter une autre fois. So I'm going to do it one more time for you guys. Je fais. Tu fais, il fait, elle fait, nous faisons, vous faites, ils font, elles font. Okay? So the same rules apply. We do not pronounce the final S's uh, for nous, vous, il, elle. So the plural, the plural ones. Um, and as you can see, I'm not pronouncing the S or the T's in either of these ones. Okay? Fe, ve, ba, fe. Okay, so the S is not pronounced. So remember, consonants um, not pronounced if they're, you know, the last letter. Okay, and I just wanted to uh, emphasize something. So the verb faire, so the verb um, faire, um, it can be either to do or to make something. Okay, uh, and as we progress, you'll learn how to use this verb. Make sure that you're practicing conjugation on, you know, a notebook or flashcards. Uh, those that's going to help you very, very much. That if you're just inputting the, you know, the conjugations or the letters on your um, computer. So really, really, really try to do conjugations by hand. Okay, that's the only way you're going to really, really learn how to do it. Okay, and that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please let me know, you know, if you want to see something else in these videos or um, if there's something that I'm missing that you want me to put. If you have any questions, you can ask to email me or comment on the video as well, okay? Au revoir, à plus, merci!